What's up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down season four, episode six of Black Mirror called The Black Museum. There will be spoilers, so if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it, come back and let's talk. But we're gonna be focusing on one of the themes of this episode, which is grief as well as the fear of death. And that comes from the story, the beautiful love story revolving around Jack and Carrie. So, Black Museum is a few episodes bundled into one, which I'm kind of happy about because episode five I was not a fan of. But anyways, in this story of Jack and Carrie, they meet at a party, it's beautiful, they fall in love, they end up uh, getting Carrie pregnant, she ends up having a baby, and when the baby is very young, she ends up getting hit by a car, put into a coma. One of the revolving themes around Black Mirror is not only social commentary about where we're headed with technology and social media and all that kind of stuff, but also the theme around consciousness, all right? And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm gonna be doing another video about the theme of consciousness in Black Mirror. But what they end up doing with Carrie is, they end up tapping into her consciousness, so even though she is in a coma, she can signal yes or no, and kind of experience conversations with Jack when he comes and visits her in the hospital. Well, what they end up doing is, there's uh, one of the scientists, one of the medical scientists, he ends up telling Jack that what he can do is, take the consciousness out of Carrie, transfer it into him, and Carrie will experience everything that Jack experiences. Everything from the foods he eats to the hug of their child, but this will kill Carrie completely. It's basically pulling the plug. So Jack ends up saying yes, Carrie ends up saying yes first, which is why Jack did it, and they transfer Carrie's consciousness into Jack. And this seems like a good idea, but as the uh, episode goes on, it turns into a nightmare. And Carrie ends up getting her consciousness transferred into a stuffed animal for her child, which her child ends up growing out of, not liking anymore, and then Carrie gets stuck in the Black Museum. All right, so that's just kind of a breakdown of this segment of uh, <laughs> the episode Black Museum. But like I said, in this video, I have a mental health channel and what we're gonna be talking about is grief as well as the fear of death. So first, let's talk about grief. Jack's decision, his overall decision to do this is because this grief that we feel when somebody is either dying or when they die, and this fear of letting people go. Something that is a fact of life is that we're all going to die, and many people have tried to find ways to prolong their life and things like that. And one of the things that hurts us the most, the most grief that we can experience is when somebody who we love passes away. In these moments, when somebody is on their way out or when they're about to die, Part of our human nature is to be extremely selfish, extremely selfish. We want to keep people on life support. We wanna keep people living as long as possible even though they are completely miserable and ready to die. So the, what Jack did was extremely selfish, all right? And I understand that Carrie wasn't in the right mindset either and I'll talk about Carrie more in a second and her fear of death, but Jack putting her consciousness into him these emotions that we have, it makes us make very impulsive and rash decisions. We're not able to step back and take a look at the big picture. Basically, the way our brains work is that when we're running high on emotions, the prefrontal cortex of the brain is not functioning properly. We're not able to think logically. We're not able to plan ahead and look at that big picture of what may happen. So. In this moment, when Jack decides to put Carrie's consciousness inside of him, Jack's not thinking about, will I ever get over Carrie? Will I ever want to be with another woman? But you also uh, don't take into consideration the fact that couples fight, right? And imagine being somebody stuck in somebody else's head. It's kind of like, a little bit like a weird version of the movie Get Out, right? So Carrie is stuck in the sunken place. So when somebody is trapped inside their body, like imagine what this person is going through, right? And Jack can hear everything that Carrie is saying, almost like it's a thought. So Carrie getting restless and having all her own opinions about the way they should parent their child and things like that, ends up driving Jack completely insane. So everything that happened to Carrie afterwards is because of Jack's original decision to prolong Carrie's quote unquote life, which is merely just her consciousness. 
this episode hits very close to home with me because when my grandma was put on hospice back in 2016 and she was slowly on her way out, my grandmother was ready to die. And my grandma was the most important person to me in my life. I actually thought, you know, when I first got clean that when my grandma dies, I'm probably gonna relapse, right? But in that moment, when my grandma was going through her suffering and her pain, you know, the weeks or months before she passed away, and I was feeling that grief and that pain and that agony, it's something that meditation has helped me do, is look at it and say, am I being selfish in this moment? My grandma was ready. She was ready to move on, right? But I wanted to. I wanted to keep her here as long as possible. So when we're experiencing grief, and this might be something a little controversial, but when we're experiencing grief, we have to check in with ourselves and ask ourselves, is this selfish? Is this selfish of me to want to keep this person alive when they're ready to die? Right, And this actually throws back to another episode of Black Mirror in a previous uh, season where a woman's boyfriend passes away and she brings his consciousness back to life in a robot. So what I want you to take away from this grief section of the video is ask yourself like, is this selfish? Do I make selfish decisions as a way to avoid the pain of grief? Now let's talk about Carrie. Carrie's fear of death, Carrie's fear of not seeing their little boy grow up, Carrie's fear of not being able to be alive, right? It's a, it's a very healthy fear. In no way, shape, or form am I saying that it's not healthy to be afraid of death. Like, it sucks. It does suck. But looking at it, it's the way that we perceive death and this lack of acceptance that we have for death that everybody that we know, including ourselves, is going to die someday. And it's something that we try to avoid on a daily basis. We don't talk about it, we don't think about it, but something that makes me experience life to the fullest is this attitude of gratitude on a daily basis that I am just so grateful to even be alive because any day, tomorrow, I can walk outside and I can get hit by a bus just like Carrie did. But that fear of death caused Carrie to make a very rash decision as well, which was agreeing to have her consciousness transferred over to Jack so she wouldn't die, which in turn locked her into a prison of a little stuffed monkey for the rest of her quote unquote life. So this fear and lack of acceptance of death can make us make some very, very, very bad decisions. And I really enjoy how Black Mirror touches on these things and shows us, but I don't think many people are looking at the mental health aspect of it, of our own relationship with grief and death, because there are healthy ways to cope with these things. And I've had to cope with grief, but Luckily, I haven't had to cope with death yet. But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And again, if you haven't yet, hit that little round subscribe button because my whole channel is about helping you out with your mental health. And I have a whole playlist of Black Mirror episode breakdowns, so click or tap on the playlist thumbnail up there or below, check out one of the other videos on this channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.